One team will take a series lead after Saturday's Game 3 between the Knicks and the Heat in Miami. With the series tied at 1, it's a huge playoff game. And in the postseason, all the little things matters when it comes to wins and losses. For the Knicks, there could be several players who could be X-Factors in this Game 3. So, here with me to discuss those players is one of the co-hosts of Knicks Fan TV. That would be J.D. representing East Harlem. J.D., how's it going, man? Everything's going great. It's been a great week as a Giants fan. The NFL draft is over. Game three. As you can see with the shirt, the vibes are immaculate. Yep. Business trip. So I have the blazer. We're ready to rock in Miami today at 3.30 p.m. All right. Let's get down to business since, it's a, since it is a business trip. Let's start with Emmanuel Quickly, who has struggled in the postseason after a regular season where he finished as the runner-up for sixth man of the year. IQ only played nine minutes in game two. So how badly do the Knicks need the regular season version of Emmanuel quickly to reemerge in game three? The Knicks need him and they need him fast. And, you know, going into the playoffs, I had him pegged as my number one X factor for the New York Knicks in terms of having a successful playoff run and going as far as you never know, Eastern Conference Finals, maybe even farther than that. And you're seeing why in this series so far as Eric Spostra is trying his best to neutralize Jalen Brunson, making it more difficult. And one of the counters, which was successful during the season, was quickly coming off the bench, being that additional ball handler, setting and running the offense off the bench and being an additional scorer at that guard position. As you see other players around struggling, that makes Emmanuel Quickly's production much more important. They need him badly. You're going on the road now for game three. Think the series gets a little bit more difficult as it goes along. You're giving Eric Spolster more time to continue to strategize. They need him fast. He is extremely important for the New York Knicks. I think he'll turn it around. At some point, you think a player with his confidence and his scoring ability turns it around, but that needs to happen fast. Needs to happen sooner rather than later for Emmanuel quickly. Let's move on to another young player, Quentin Grimes. He doesn't seem to have the same confidence, J.D., on offense since returning from a shoulder injury that he suffered in the opening round series against the Cavaliers. So is the second-year guard finding his shooting stroke? Is that key to the Knicks getting a win in South Beach on Saturday? It is extremely key because now you're going on the road, and you know what they say, <clears throat> road players struggle on the road. They play better at home. They're going to need that. You know, he played all 12 minutes of game two in the fourth quarter. And in the second half, once Thibodeau gave him more minutes, he shot 30% from three in the second half. And that was one of the reasons why he closed with Grimes. You talked about Grimes' ability to be a sticky defender is what got him minutes. But now you need his offense and you need his shooting. In his career, Quentin Grimes is shooting 47.6% uh, from three against the Miami Heat. And just in March, the Knicks played the Heat two times in a week. He made 11 threes out of 23-point attempts just recently against the Heat. So this is not a team that he, you know, he's not acquainted with. He plays well against them. Now he has to translate it into the playoffs, and that's why he's so important for the Knicks because Jimmy Butler's coming back game three, and his minutes now are going to be essential, not only defensively, but when you're on the road, offensively. Yeah, and Nick's going to be looking to see what they can get out of him on the offensive end, especially if he gets more minutes. It'll be interesting to see if he goes back into the starting lineup. He's played the last couple of games off the bench. Now let's talk about Julius Randle because he returned in game two. He had a solid game. He is the team's lone all-star this season. So in your eyes, why is the New York forward, and I've seen you tweet about this, why is he an X-factor? in game three. Well, Dexter, you know how this goes. Game threes, game fives, these kind of series changing games, you talk about needing your stars to play well. Your star players at the end of the day have to perform in big spots. The series is tied 1-1. And history says that the game three winner, in a, when it's a series is one of one and one, go to win the series 73.3% of the time. So that tells me that today, today's game is very important and you need a guy like Julius to continue to build off the last game. Another reason why is he shoots 37% from three on the road as opposed to 30% in the Madison Square Garden. Well, today's game is on the road. So you need to see that three-point efficiency um, play itself out in Miami as well as the physicality. 
you started to see a situation there where, you know, the Knicks being able to be a physical team, they're getting that reputation around the league. Julius Randle was very physical against uh, Bam Adebayo in game two, and you started to see the trickle-down effect that it had on the Miami Heat. They don't have a lot of size. Their tallest player is Cody Zeller, and he's not even getting a lot of minutes in the rotation. Julius Randle is huge for game three, and he's huge, he's huge for the rest of the series. He's our star player. And I think he's starting to get it together. I think he'll play well today in game three in Miami. All right, we'll see how he does down there in MSG South. Good stat with him shooting the ball over 37% on the road. We'll see how that goes down. J.D., real quick, are you picking the Knicks to win game three? Is that going down on Saturday? Are they winning game three? Yes. When I looked at last night's Boston Celtics win in game three, I think the Knicks, who are the road team today, are going to win game three as well. All right, J.D. going with a Knicks win on the road. Check J.D. out on Knicks Fan TV and all that they do pregame, postgame, during the game, doing a great job covering the Knicks. J.D., always good to talk to you. Enjoy the game. We will talk more soon. Let's go. Let's go, Knicks.